Hey, what's up? What's up, Libra? Sugar Atash Unstoppable. Please like, subscribe. Don't forget to comment and share my channel. This message is for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cross watches are welcome. If the reading doesn't resonate, just watch other signs. This is not a personal reading, but a collective reading for Libra, okay? Uh, so, Libra, um, the plans keep coming through, okay? Somebody's traveling. Also, something about a cruise is significant as well. It's definitely raining outside. It's always raining when I do your reading. Why is that? Okay, some of you may be feeling kind of down, maybe feeling kind of like, um, you know, just kind of melancholy, just, you know, not really want to get out, not really want to do a whole lot right now, just healing yourself, doing some res reflection, respection, respection, introspection, okay, on yourself at this time, okay, but I'm getting once you do this travel or you make this move, some of you are going to be relocating, getting a new home. I think this is going to make you feel a little better here. Some of you have a new connection that's coming in as well here. You may be kind of closed off because you're still healing, still going through your process of taking care of oneself, focusing on oneself, loving oneself, okay? Some of you could be into yoga, okay? You're also uh, maybe thinking about a new diet or just eating more healthier. Some of you are vegetarians as well, part of the LGBTQ for some of you. You also uh, could be doing something different with your hair as well. Somebody's going to be getting a proposal, a marriage proposal. This could be around Valentine's Day, okay? Uh, this could happen in the rain as well. I'm getting Zales. Somebody likes Zales. Somebody's looking at rings at Zales. Um, also, uh, you could also be thinking about um, where you want to go in terms of your wedding here whenever you do get married for some of you, okay? Also, something about jeans, I don't know if you want jeans, if you're thinking about getting some new jeans or a new wardrobe, okay? Like I said, I see you really healing yourself, nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself as well. You could be confiding in a family member here, someone that you look up to that's, you know, trying to keep you more grounded and more, uh, you know, um, more focused here, okay? But I see you really building up on your finances or trying to uh, save more as well here, okay? This is about your prosperity. So I see your money is definitely going to be looking good. Some of you are going to be saving as well here, okay? Ace of Swords, but I feel like you've got some kind of clarity or some kind of truth regarding the situation here, okay? Maybe you need some kind of clarity regarding the situation with a loved one, someone that you possibly walked away from or that you're trying to heal yourself away from this person here, okay? But I feel like there is someone that wants to come in and communicate with you. This person is thinking about you, okay? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They want to come in and have a new opportunity with you. Okay. With the judgment card, they definitely want to have a second, a second start here. Okay. I feel like this person feels like you're blaming them or you could feel like they blame you for some things or like they try to make you feel sorry for things that you didn't do. You may feel like you actually did something wrong and you really didn't. Okay. Okay. All right. So we got somebody that wants to move towards you. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini here. All right. They want to come towards you. They want to start a new journey in life. But this is about your destiny here. I feel like your life is going to change for the better in a good way here. Once you go in and, and heal yourself. Also, we do have the nine of coins. So I see you being more focusing on your independence, your success, your financial stability. Some of you are single out there. You might have left a connection, walked away from somebody. This person could be watching you online. They could see you as someone that's single here. Or this could be a new person that wants to come in and want to offer you a new relationship. But I see you, for some of you, are self-employed, but there's a new opportunity in your work. You could be, uh, you know, moving up the ladder here. I see you being very, very hardworking and, gro and goal-driven. The devil is alive. We're going to get it out today, okay? Um, some of you could be dealing with someone at work or, um, maybe this person that you're dealing with, they're really, really good with their hands. They could be a Virgo, uh, Taurus Capricorn here. Um, this person sees you as someone that's, um, you know, a fun, caring, loving, energetic person. I feel like you're really attracted to them as well. And that's 
you know, possibly why come uh, you're kind of in your thoughts regarding this person and trying to figure out, you know, what's going on, what happened, how it happened here. OK, page of ones. I feel like this person wants to come towards you with some kind of news here, but you may feel like this person is kind of, you know, uh, immature. You know, they don't really do or say the things that they that they're going to do they may have broken promises they could be someone older but acts immature i feel like there's also a difference a cultural difference or an age difference for some of you okay but you're going to be standing your ground here okay i feel like you're going to put your foot down you're going to tell this person what you deserve and uh you know what you deserve is your freedom your happiness okay your joy your peace OK, because this person could be dealing with other people. They put you in a third party connection here, which caused you to walk away and move forward here. Some of you could be losing a home, losing a job, walking away from those things that no longer serve you. Uh, uh, for some of you, there is travel. This person could live at a distance as well here. They may feel like you being at a distance from them is causing them to. Uh, you know, it's causing them to really, really miss you. They may feel like they lost you. They may feel like you're dealing with other people. Like they can't really see, you know, they see you. They could be watching you, but it's like they're not close to you. Okay. So it's like they really, really miss you a lot here. Okay. All right. So we have justice. This is Libra. So, you know, I feel like, you know, justice is definitely going to be served, but there is some kind of deception or you're going to see the truth regarding this person here. I feel like whatever clarity there is that you want to see is going to come towards you here. You could be dealing with the, this could be a baby father, a baby mother here. Okay. But the number four, so your ancestors are protecting you, watching you, guiding you. Okay. But this is about self-expression and self-fulfillment. So I feel like you're going to be expressing yourself or you want this person to express themselves, how they feel about you. Okay. Um, I see you being in your emperor, empress energy here. Um, but this person tries to come in and control the dynamic of this relationship. They try to, you know, tell you what they're going to do, what they're not going to do. It's kind of like, I feel like this person tries to wrap you around their finger. This could be the past person that I'm talking about. I feel like you think their sex is really good and that may be what's keeping you together. For some of you, you have a child with this person. Okay. You may see them as someone that's stable as well. And they may be kind of why you don't really walk away. Are you, why it's hard for you to let them go? OK, you could be dealing with this person could have been with them for a long time for some of you. OK, and you moving on to somebody new. It's just not it for you. Maybe you want your children to have a father figure in the home. Maybe you just tired of uh, bouncing from relationship to relationship. OK, but for some of you that's single, what you desire is a young tenderoni with a heart. Banana. OK. Anaconda, uh, avocado, pickle, cucumber. I don't know. OK. Yeah, because you may feel like this person is being sneaky, like they're not really telling you a whole lot here. There's some deceit around this person. You feel like they're lying. They're dealing with other people. OK. Ace of Wands. Yeah, I feel like this person's kind of in and out. They kind of come and get what they want and then they leave, okay? But, you know, this is only causing you sadness, heartache, pain, and sorrow here. But this person knows that them leaving you and walking away from this connection here was the, the worst thing that they could have ever done. For some of them, they're trying to get out of a relationship or trying to walk away from somebody else here. And it may be kind of doing it in a sneaky way. Some of them are sneaking out at night to be with you. Whether you know this or not, I feel like this is somebody that's dealing with other people in the background that you don't know about. Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus can be significant as well here, okay? But this person is in deep regret and sorrow. They're up at night thinking about you, trying to figure out how to come towards you here, okay? But I feel like the way that they're doing it, it's like maybe it's, you know, to the point to where... You know, it's sneaky to you, but this person is definitely spying you, okay, spying on you, watching you, trying to see what you're up to. This person is very, very toxic, or you feel like they have toxic energy. Um, this person could, like I say, they're holding on to you. They don't want to let go of this connection. There is some kind of codependence that's going on in the middle of this connection here, whether that's money, whether that's uh, emotional, physical whatever here this person doesn't want to let you go they want to you know keep you bound to this relationship okay 
Yeah, but for some of you, there's a marriage coming in. This person's really, they have really good money, but they may not spend a whole lot. They could be someone that's saved, but I see you really building and, um, you know, uh, investing and doing a lot better when it comes to your money, your budgeting here, okay? Uh, for some of you, you're going to be building a home, moving into a home with someone, or just possibly relocating here, okay? Yeah. But I see you manifesting. You're manifesting here. But some of you, this is a connection that you ended. Are you going to be walking away from? I feel like you're going to be letting go from things, people, places, things that no longer serve you here. Okay. And you're going to be manifesting a new life, a new beginning for the better here. Okay. But this person wants to come back in and smooth talk you. And you're going to be like, excuse me, with the nine of ones. Uh, you're going to be kind of like, you know, uh, kind of held back here okay i feel like you're going to be kind of held back or you may be feeling like uh you know you're going to have to gather your strength and go within here okay you're going to have to gather your strength go within and walk away from this connection and heal yourself here some of you could be uh dreaming about this person but this person is definitely at nighttime thinking about you you could be dealing with the leo as well a fire sign of some sort this person is wanting to come towards you and offer a new beginning here they have been up at night thinking about this how to move towards you what they're going to do because they feel like they lost you and they definitely don't want to let you go they don't want to end this situation with ever heartbreaking pain that, I, that they've caused you because some of you you've had some kind of argument or disagreement here but at the end of the day even though you and this person have issues this person is not going to want to leave you okay <laughs> Okay, creativity. Some of you are focused on your creativity. You could be thinking about a new business endeavor to embark on at this time. Some of you are really good uh, craftsmen, uh, artwork. Uh, you could be uh, painters, artists. Somebody is looking at art pictures or going to some kind of art museum as well. But the number eight could be significant as well. Also, some of you, there is a pregnancy. You could have twins or two children by this person. Or you're going to be having kids for some of you that can get pregnant. Not everybody, okay? But, you know, um, good luck. A change for the better is definitely coming in here. I'm seeing you going to be very, very successful and very, very happy and very content with the way your life is going to be going here because you definitely have somebody new that's coming in protection you are protecting your ancestors are watching over you as well and if you're a mother you're very protective over your children as well here but you got somebody that's spiritually watching over you protecting you if this is someone that you've lost if you feel like this is somebody protecting you i feel like you definitely are before like i said your ancestors are watching over you and protecting you okay rebirth some of you are going through rebirth and i feel like once you let go of this this whatever this is that's trying to hold you that's trying to bind you um you're going to be free of those things okay so the devil is not going to be able to hold you down much longer okay you're very spiritual with the out here i feel like excuse me some of you could um do a magic at at nighttime or you may work at night there's something about night that's significant okay but you got a fox here okay somebody's watching you at night this could be online if you have an online presence or if you, you know, post on uh, your social media, this person is watching you online. OK, but authenticity, some of you are part of LGBTQ. I see a message that's definitely coming in. Some of you may have a new baby arriving, like I said. OK, uh, but letting your truth be heard. So you're going to be able to speak to this person. I feel like communication is going to be coming in and you're going to tell them exactly how you feel. If you don't, then you definitely have the opportunity to because this is not fair to you or your children if you have kids by this person. It's not good for your mentality to have to deal with this negativity, okay? Okay, observe. Somebody's observing you, watching you, but I see you also doing that to others as well here because you definitely kind of stand to yourself, really not getting out a whole lot. You could be observing this person, but... 
Um, this is a time to observe a situation without being pulled into engaging or reacting to drama. Let it be. The wind is here. The wind is strong. Okay. But you're an air sign. So this is about, I feel like when I hear this, like your independence, like your independence, you're not going to stay stagnant for long. You're not going to stay in one spot. You're not going to let this person hold you down or get you down or feel, make you feel bogged down or tied down to them much longer. You're going to move forward in life and you want something new, something better here. But there is a message that's coming in. There is a message that's coming in and you're going to have to pay attention to that message. Okay. Some of you, something quickly is going to happen. This person could be messaging you very, very quickly, or it's going to, something's going to happen out of nowhere. It could be a new job. It could be pregnancy. It could be a proposal. Okay. 